everybody. Who are we? We are Sassy Silver Sisters. Hi, Kathy. Rhonda. Kelly. And I come up with a bright idea, or I was, I saw something, and Kelly goes, why don't we just do that and show everybody how to spice up our butters. And uh, I was going to, the recipe called for fresh. So I'm going in fresh there. Fresh what? Fresh, fresh herbs. herbs. So yeah. I'm going in there and I'm going, okay, if I use a little bit and a little bit of butter, then what am I going to do with the rest of this? So I said, why don't I get dried uh, herbs and spices? Mm -hmm. So McCormick has a ton of different spices. And um, one of them is lemon herb. We got vegetable. And this one is sweet onion and herb. And I also said, well, why can't I do, because I did this for Christmas one year, um, apricot butter. Mm. But the key is the original crackers I got were already seasoned. So I'm going, well, that's going to take away from the taste of the butters. So Rhonda had some Ritz and um, also the apricot butter is great for just rolls. To oh, sweeten yeah. up the oh, roll. Yeah. Ooh, sweet and, rolls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, to soften up the butter, you let it soft, get soft. Then you add some cream or milk. To keep it soft. And you beat it up, beat it up, beat, and it gets air in it. And it's a whipped oh. butter. Um, Cheaper than yeah. buying whipped butter. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a minute, but it's worth it, yeah. I think. And so I did that. I whipped it up. Put the butter in the balls and then just uh, spice to taste. So we're going to taste it and see. Very it's easy cool. to do. If you want to do something different for a dinner or a party, do your spiced or your herbed butter. How much do you think you put in? Each yeah. Time? Just what I did like was a such teaspoon? a sprinkle, no, oh, probably a half a teaspoon or less. Depending on how she's I got just a variety sprinkled, of sizes here. Yeah, I just sprinkled the top. So it looks like you may have, like in this one, you have like a half a stick of butter and maybe. Uh, no, it's not a half a stick of butter. Really? Because yeah. it's whipped. Because you whipped it's it all. whipped. All now, did you whip butter? all the butter at once and yes. then kind of separate uh, yes. it? Yes. And okay. then um, all this butter is two sticks. So. Oh, okay. So she whips the butter first, and then you can divide it up and yes, make Yes, and that's what I did. Want. Very so, cool. Good idea. All yeah, right. So, so which one are we going to have some fun? All right. Grab a cracker. Uh, which one are we trying first? We'll do the sweet. This is the apricot last. Okay. All right. So we'll do this one first, which, which is, is the vegetable. All right. The vegetable. vegetable. Veggie, veggie. No. It's not cream cheese. No, I just grabbed it butter. like it's cream cheese. Right. It's butter. I know. You're thinking that. I, I know. I'm thinking, thinking cream cheese. Well, you just say You could probably cheese. do the same thing with the cream cheese. I and think. it's easy because it, the spices. Mm. Well, it's good. It is good. Honestly, I think it would it be better. It takes a minute to chew it. I mean, well, to get it, to get the flavor I think it would be better on bread than crackers because it is butter. You know what I mean? Yeah, whatever you're putting it on has That's to be... That's a good flavor, though. has to be plain. It is I a like good flavor. And the, Ritz, well, but, and the Ritz have a buttery flavor, but they, it doesn't have any other like That's spices true. in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the veggies is good. I like the veggies. All right. Are we going this way to like the yeah. onion? She's yeah. got sweet onion and herb. And so we're going to try a little bit of that. And well, the problem is, we can't get that taste out of your mouth. <laughs> that's okay. We need some wine. That's why I said, that's why I said, do it. Uh, Want some of that beer? <laughs> yeah, well, do the apricot last for dessert. Now, what is this? The sweet onion. You can taste the onion flavor, I think. It's all good. We don't like butter. Easy to do, though. Lots of Paula Deen. We need cream cheese next time. Mm-hmm. We got... But the thing about it is you can do this... We got the spices. They do this for steaks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do what? Like, after you've cooked your steak... Yeah, you put they a, put butter on the steak. You put the you cook flavored them? butter on the steak. That, that would be do? awesome. I didn't know that. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. And then the other one we have is um, the lemon. Lemon butter. 
Now, where would you use lemon butter? On fish, I guess. Lemon herb. Yeah, that would be good on fish. Because we use that um, when we cook fish. We use um, oh, lemon pepper on fish. It's yeah. good. Well, this is lemon herb. Hmm. Can't taste it very much. So I guess it wouldn't do for a Ritz cracker. I taste it. Do you? Mm hmm. Peppery. I actually don't like it as much as the other two. I don't either. But you're right, though. It'll be good on mm -hmm. on fish. Fish. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Chicken salted crumbs. Yeah, that's what it says. Chicken and fish. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Basil, oregano, red pepper. I thought I tasted a pepper in there. So it'd be good. I mean, you can make it, you know, uh, pretty quickly and you know, like use it on it your is. meats. And and this is, uh, it's just something easy to do. And I would think it would be good for a party. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, Special occasions when so you want to do something fancier. Yeah, than and you cut her on. But if you have rolls, these would be so good on rolls. Like a sweet roll or something. All of it. We could make our own honey butter. Whipped honey oh, butter. Yeah, oh, honey. that'd be good. I, I gotta love, try that. I love honey butter. Yeah, with y'all's bees. Yeah, and your honey. Yeah. All we'll right. So the next one is what? Apricot. apricot. No, this yeah. is this is good. I and you know, <laughs> I'm using a little bit more of this since it's. Uh, yeah, but it's butter. It's not cream cheese. I know. Keep reminding ourselves. That is thought. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. It would be good on a hot roll. You could do any kind of preserve. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh my gosh, make me hungry. Now, mm -hmm. how much preserve did you put in that? Just to taste. So that amount, probably a tablespoon or so. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it was too. It wasn't real thick preserve though. Um, some were more thick than others, but. That's good. They're all about good. two teaspoons in that. I know it's good, isn't it? We're and hungry, but it's butter. It's okay. not cream cheese, but it's good fat. Um, that would be really good on a hot roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So remember when you're doing these spice butters, that they are better on a bland piece of bread mm -hmm. yeah. or a bland cracker toast that mm -hmm. way you can taste the spices in it be good on toast mm -hmm. like you're say you're making like um italian dinner or something like that and you wanted to make garlic bread but you didn't have whatever and you had some of these spices you have the garlic or you can make your own garlic you can make your own um that's true for italian dinner yeah oh. yeah yeah mm -hmm. So anyway, easy to do, easy, 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 and I'm all about easy. So well, thanks, Kathy. Yeah, good stuff. And look at all the spices I got left over. And that's the thing; you're gonna have to use it. If I do the fresh, and you buy a certain amount, what in the heck am I gonna do? Then I thought later. Go bad. Yeah, but I found out that you, you spend could, as much on the herbs as you do on these. Yeah, but I found out you can take the fresh herbs and put them. Chop them up and put them in an ice cube tray. Yeah. Cover them with water. Right. And then you throw them in whatever. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You can do that. So, but. Or you can have your own herb that garden. That was afterthought. Have your own herb garden like me. Except they died. No. <laughs> yeah, so have your what own herb garden was, like Kelly. You know what happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, um, the beetles got to my flowers and they were in my flower with my mm. flowers and the beetles got to the flowers and they got oh, to the herbs too. Yes. The only th only herbs that I had that survived was parsley. Oh, oh. okay. No, that's probably I meant, one of those. Mint that, did, but mint because mint it, can grow in. But the, the bugs don't like mint. Yeah, bugs don't like mint. Well, the parsley and the mint survived. My my cilantro did not survive, nor did my um, basil. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Well. So sad. All right. Anyway. Well, thanks, McCormick. Yeah. Um, I like this Let's mix. Stop. I like the mix. I think it's a good idea to use these because I have a million of these things. Yeah, and you could do, like I said, you could do butters, you could do cream, cream cheese. cheese, anything else. Well, I put it on steak and chicken and yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And hamburgers. Then, then your meats. Mm. Uh, like this one, um, vegetable. You know, you can make a dip. This would. Um, oh, and the dip, sour you, yeah, cream. Yeah, you can make dips. a dip with this, mm -hmm. or um, just you know, add it to any vegetable that you're yeah. cooking to give it a little oomph. Right. You know. Well, that's on, true. You vegetables. Can put, it, put them on salads. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Great. All right. Thanks, McCormick. We loved it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we did. Thanks so much. Follow us on Facebook. Oh yeah, follow us on Facebook. And bring, bring your, your sass.